Hello everyone, this is how I did suit only Silent Assassin in the final mission in Hitman 3, the Carpathian Mountains in Romania. And this is on Master Difficulty. We begin by immediately moving forward and knocking out the scientist and then opening the door and then sneaking by here. Make sure you crouch and don't sprint. Once you get through here, you'll see a poster that has the number 1979, which is the code on the door and then once we get inside we can get the rusty crowbar which we can use to break open the door and get onto the train area we then proceed on the side of the train until we get to the roof and then we're going to proceed to the next car What we're going to do down here is jump down, and if we go fast enough before the guy even has a chance to turn around, we're going to knock him out and take his gun and a key. Now the key leads into the back cart that we just jumped over, so if we head back into that, we're going to head all the way in the back. We can take this rusty old nail, which is what we use to lockpick, and we can find another rusty crowbar, which we can use to open up. Uh, certain areas in this cart. We want to open up the second one, not the one immediately, because the crowbar will break when we use it, but we need this fuse cell. So this is a, an important step in what the way that I took to get past this area. We're going to proceed into the next cart, and we're just going to go immediately in the back, and we're going to find the valve that we're going to use to open the top gate thing <laughs> so we climb out of that and we're on the roof again so we have to be careful about not getting hit by these signs the signs always appear to the right and then to the left and then the right so we, we just pass one on the right so the next time it comes up it's gonna be on the left so just make sure you look use an instinct uh, when you come up and climb up on the roof make sure because they'll glow yellow not to be seen so here we can just go through this window and we're going to shimmy over to the next window in the car. And then I'm going to pick up a rusty nail and if we proceed through this car there's another window and then we go across. There's a lot of areas where we can just exit out and sneak by in the cars on the side of the, the train. So we enter here and we're going to proceed behind this guard we need to be into the third door, but because the guard stops there, we go into the second door. I'm closing the door. So when the guard goes by, he doesn't notice me. Then we open it up and sneak into the third door, which we then have a window we can open to go out, and then we sneak back on the outside. We go through that window, and now we're back on a open train. Proceed over to the next part. Now here, if you guys want, make sure you want to get this challenge, you can craft a silencer on your pistol. I literally don't use the pistol at all. I just thought it was cool to craft, so I crafted the pistol with the silencer. Then proceed to the next train, jump out to the window on your right. And you can't crawl all the way this way. So see how the, I looked, I checked with the instincts to make sure I, if, I, if I climbed up immediately there, I might have got hit by the one on the right. We can cross over immediately head on the left side and climb down because the top parts are frozen. So we can't necessarily go through there. So we climb over, I mean, climb under that window. We climb up top here, we scale. I'm waiting for the right side, heading forward. Because this area, as you can see, the top is not icy. But eventually we get to a part where I can't proceed. The right side is icy. Uh, I mean, uh, pick up a rusty nail here. And then we come down here. Oh, 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 the right side was not icy. I'm sorry, I made a mistake there. The right side was not icy. We come down, we go through the window. Now we're behind a bar. We could proceed to the door here, but they tend to notice. So we go out the window again. And then we head inside this window. And then now we're uh, in the next cart without them noticing. 
So this one's a little interesting, so we go to the, out the window on the right. We proceed inside the window here, make sure we do not sprint or make any movement because we're inside a cart with uh, somebody sleeping. So we pick up a rusty old nail. Now the first, there's one guard with his back facing you and the other guard at the top. We wait until he looks away using instinct and then we're able to just walk right out and get right out the window. And we climb up, get on the roof of the car, drop down. This, this cart, there's no way to go through, so we just immediately just go up the ladder, go on the top. You'll notice there's ice on the right, so we go down the left. This one again, we climb to the roof, and then go forward, and we jump down. Now, you can typically climb over this, but I, I did a the shortcut so I can go through. We take out the guard here, and we don't use the fuse cell that they give us. We pick up this fuse cell because we want two fuse cells. So now we have two fuse cells, and this is the what what you need to to get through without being spotted. We then wait until the guards are not looking, so we can drop down, specifically the one on the right and the head turning on the left. We drop down and we put our fu first fuse cell in the over light light, over, overload lights. This blinds everyone on the outside here, even this guy who's super far away for some reason, for an extremely long period of time. I take out this guy because sometimes he randomly, with his pattern, he'll walk into the next uh, room while I'm inside of there, so we don't want to, that to happen. So I dump his body there, and then proceed in this room. Make sure you close the door so people don't see what you're about to do. I take this crowbar, and I take a soda can because I don't want to waste any of the crowbars. This guy's going to salute the commander, and we're going to take out the commander. The silent attack, and we're going to hide his body. So now I proceed forward, and I'm going to pick up another rusty crowbar and a claw hammer. And then here we just got to watch the the two guards on the right in the middle. The, the first one is going to look, keep looking to the right, and the second one is going to look down, and, and then he, he looked away. So now we can come here, overload the lights a second time. This is what the second fuse cell is for. Now we can just run right through here, get them blinded, and we climb up. And we're done with the melting guards area. So now we're in an area with people in suits. So we got the first guy on the phone here. We wait, wait until the guy in the hallway turns around, and heads down the hallway. I guess technically we could have taken, taken him out and hid him in one of these rooms, but I just closed the door and waited for him to come by. Once he passes by, I then proceed to the next room. So this one's a little, little rough. We gotta puncture that thing with a rusty screwdriver, which we have, and we just gotta try to do it without getting spotted. Um, typically when you go for it, you shouldn't have enough suspicion. You should be able to get inside without it getting, you know, spotted. So he'll go for the distraction, and then you gotta wait until he's turned away and not looking before you move. And you have to make sure you don't sprint, because this is master difficulty. If it's not master difficulty, you can sprint. But on master difficulty, if you sprint, they'll hear you. So you just walk nicely, crouched behind them. And then you should be good. Now, make sure you close the doors here so they don't see you. For some reason, I can't choke her out in the chair. So I use the claw hammer, because we can use them multiple times, to throw it in, knock her out. And at this point, we just gotta take out everyone in this cart, because I haven't been able to figure out a way to get past this. But this is the final cart that you need. So I throw the car hammer here to get the first guy uh, over. And then I take him out silently. And then I throw whatever. I could have technically, I guess, thrown the claw hammer at anything, just down in the hallway. So this girl will eventually turn around. And check out that noise. And then she's literally the last one. I just throw it at her. I don't even go up and knock her out. 
I open the door, pull this, and you have essentially beaten the level. Because you can't possibly get spotted now because you're only with the target. So at this point, you have successfully achieved suit only silent assassin on master difficulty in the Carpathian Mountains. Uh, so I will let you guys uh, experience the ending here and uh, please leave a like and subscribe if you like this yes, content and oh, have all my tutorial series on suit only silent assassin no. on Hitman 3 Seems and I'm as it really myself. helps with the U U well YouTube algorithm and word. thank you very much for watching. Do you really think she'll be able to resist all that power? This is not how people work. She rejects the power, not the responsibility. <laughs> A noble idea. But please join me in the real world. I trust you already know what this is. Why not simply take it? Embrace who you were always meant to be. No, never again. <sighs> well, I had to try. Go on then. Do your thing. At least I die knowing who I am. What are you doing? No! No! This is what it means to lose everything. You're making a mistake. It's mine to make. Oh. <laughs> Forgive me. I seem to have... Uh... What were we talking about? Don't worry. We were done. <laughs>